Hey guys, Backcountry for Life here. I got the Moscow Nomax tank bag for Christmas. And so I wanted to quickly show you that product. Um, I got it right over here, but essentially this is my Triumph Tiger 800 bike. And I've already connect, got the straps connected here. And then down here you can see on each side is a a strap connector so you you kind of keep that to the bike there but this essentially just comes to the top and right here it connects on each side like so and I usually will take this with me when I'm just gonna do a, a day ride and I won't take anything else on my bike. So, you know, sometimes I'll have my saddlebags and then other times I'll just take the Nomax that I have here. And so you can see here, this is the Nomax to the top. On the top, I have my Leatherman strapped on the Moly straps here. And I love this bag. Uh, it has, well, let me just go through it. You open up the top here and it's got a compartment. I have a light that I could use. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, I floss, you know, when you're riding and you got something stuck in your teeth, got to have some floss. These are just a couple snacks. These are essentially my little, let me grab quickly items. Got some trash in there, some chapstick, just a rag, you know, to wipe down visors or mirrors. And also I have this for Kleenex, you know, if I need to blow my nose, you know how it gets cold and your nose gets runny. And some hand sanitizer in there also, you know, after I eat or go to the bathroom, anything like that I got in this. Also I have uh, earplugs. So that's what I kind of store in this top a pouch and there's also a clip here you know you can clip an extra set of keys or a, a garmin or something i i clip my uh, motorola defy that's my the tracker unit i use to this when i ride so uh, this has also some pouch inside it allows you to store more in there which i haven't used and right here there's another pouch and it allows, you know, I haven't quite figured out what this little hole is. It looks blue, must be water related, but I'm gonna get to the water later. So that's that pouch, oh, the top pouch. You open up the next bag, the next portion of the bag, and you have these zippered pockets. So in here I have some um, go fires, you know, quick, igniters if you need to start a fire and you know this is kind of a camping trip to hand warmers also have a little sewing kit in case something snaps or I need to, to fix it repair it got some some batteries in there in that pocket in this pocket I have all of my identification a pad of paper um, my national pass and some extra money in that pocket in here they have these straps so this is you know just a little container of matches i use this when i'm i'm also camping so some things i'll i'll take out of this depending on what i have in my saddlebag to lighten up this this tank bag and you know have it in my saddlebag but when i'm not with my saddlebags which i you know have back here i'll um i'll just actually just put everything in here so i have my DEET protection. This is for, you know, mosquitoes and things. Here is my tire pressure valve. And then this is pretty cool. This is a product from Near Zero. It's just biodegradable wipes. So you just put some water on it and it opens up to, there's 10 of them in this pack, but it opens up into a, a big wipe that you can use. Here I have a little bit of, of super glue. So that's kind of what I, I have in this pouch. Let me zip that up. This next pouch here is 
I have, you know, some zip ties, also some extra uh, pouches. I'm running tubed um, tires. So these are repair patches and rubber cement. And, you know, I'm not carrying tubes if I'm not carrying my saddlebag. So I just have that in case I need to do a quick repair. Also some extra, I could probably throw these behind, actually underneath my, my seat there. Um, but these are, uh, uh, these are fuses. There we go. Kind of get the word there, some fuses. Um, also in this pouch at the bottom, if I unzip this here, this is a waterproof uh, cover. So if it's raining, I could just throw that over my entire Nomax bag. That's stored right there. I also have a couple tire irons in case I do need a change and plug that tube. And this is a small, you know, uh, tool kit that just has all my basic tools that I need to take with me in case I need to make a repair and take off the wheel. Also, I have a, a little attachment for USB that I can plug into my lighter in the front of my bike, and that just goes in there. And if I need to charge anything while I ride, this is actually a brake lock. So if I'm in the city and don't really trust where I'm at, um, I'll take that with me and lock that up on my, my handlebars there. Inside, I also have a, a tie down strap. I haven't used, needed to use it yet, but it's there in case I need to tie something down. And here's all where I have all my electronics. Now, other people, this is a ba backup power unit, bank, um, and various cords for the things that I'm charging just for a day ride. So if, you know, other people might pack this differently than I do, um, would love to know how you pack your Nomax if you have one. Let me know, throw it in the comments. And then also you can see there's this tube here. This is a the tube that goes to a water pouch. It's, it's actually very long. If you look at it from here, it connects inside the bag and it, it extends all the way almost to the rear of my bike. So it's pretty long. It just wraps right around the bag here and it is stored the water pouch is stored right in here let's see if i can give you another look right in there is where the water is so that it's two liters of water and it just stores right at the very bottom of the nomax bag so i love this feature i used to carry a backpack or a water bladder on my back um, inside my backpack that I would carry behind me. And that was really annoying because I don't like carrying things on my back. So I like to carry it right here. Um, this also comes with the whistle. One thing I forgot to mention is if you wanna take this, this bag off, then you can completely detach it. And inside the back here, let me give you another view, right in here are attachments and it comes with, let's see if I could zoom in a little bit here. It comes with some straps. So you can actually strap, if you don't wanna take the straps, I remove them cause I'm not, you know, on my day ride, sometimes I'm not going on a little hike side adventure. I'm just riding all day. So if you don't wanna, carry your straps, you don't have to. Um, but if you want to, you can connect it right there, take off this whole bag and then just throw it on your back and use it as a backpack because you already got your water, you got some you got some tools with you if you don't want to carry this many tools and if you plan to do a, a little hike at a national park or something, you can do that. This is, like I think I mentioned already, it's a whistle for emergencies. So that is pretty cool. The, the straps would just tie down to these D loop um, rings here at the bottom. So I highly recommend this bag. I I love it. I've used it a few times already um, since Christmas, just going on trips, and uh, it's amazing. You know, it it basically is carrying everything I need. And so highly recommend checking out the Moscow Nomax if you have. I think they have another. I think it's called the Gnome. If uh, you're riding maybe a smaller dual sport bike or a smaller bike. They have a different bag that's called a gnome, but 
if you're on a, an adventure bike and you're going on a longer trip during the day or maybe multi-day, you could, you know, you can, I recommend this bag right here. So check it out. If you like, um, if you like this video and you like what you, what you see and my content, please like subscribe and follow me for more. And I'll be continuing to share out the different things that I enjoy using on my motorcycle backcountry adventure trips. Take care, everyone. Thanks.